Sean. Just get out. There's nothing more to say. like that's opened things up enough for you to reach the reactor. Some other good news. I've almost got the teleporter working. Should be ready to pull you out whenever you need. Son. You've doomed humanity. You know that. There's nothing more to say. Sean. It's too late to be sorry. Move here. Not robots, 
but not exactly human either. Attention all personnel. Evacuation order. Did you see that? Authorization. One. Y. R. Three. One. Please proceed to your assigned evacuation. Guess it was not. Thank you for your cooperation. What's that noise? Movement detected. Curious. I'm hit. I'm hurt. Bad. Someone help! I'm done! Why would they attack us when they had all this? This must be the reactor. This must be the reactor. We'll cover you while you plant the charge. We only get one shot at this, remember? Good luck. This must be the reactor. We'll cover you while you plant the charge. We only get one shot at this. We need to Hi. Sturgis, you reading me? We're done down here. Zap us back to the relay room. Okay, let's move. All right, Sturgis, we're done. Get us the hell out of here. Yeah, I would, man. Attention but, uh, this kid showed up. Says he's the general's son. 
Please, Dad, don't leave me here. I want to go with you. Thank you for your cooperation. Why did you call me Dad? What? You're my father. Why else would I call you that? Who told you that I was your father? What do you mean? Right, of course I'm your father. Good. For a second, I thought you forgot who I was. Now let's hurry up and get out of here. All right. You can come with me. Really? Do you mean it? Thank you for your cooperation. Look, kid, I'm leaving. If you want to come along, then follow me. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go! Attention Let's get out of here. All right, Sturgis. Fire it up. Didn't leave anything behind, did you? All set to get out of here? You sure you know what you're doing here? This thing won't vaporize me, right? Aw, oh, come on. Have I ever let you down? You've got my word that it's all set up proper. Now, are we going? Or are we gonna stand here and jaw more? Absolutely. Let's get the hell out of here. You got it. I'm gonna teleport you to the detonation site. Then set it to shoot the kid here back to the castle. Now you press that button extra hard when you get there. I'll see you on the other side. Sturgis figure, this is a safe distance outside the blast radius. Whenever you want to see humanity's best hope for the future go up in smoke, just hit that button. Let's get this over with, General. over me. The heat, the force, the radiation, the fear. It's the end of the world all over again. I close my eyes. I see my life before all of this, before the bombs. Everything can change in an instant, and the future you plan for yourself shifts whether or not you're ready. At some point, it happens to all of us. This wasn't the world I wanted, but it was the one I found myself in. The Commonwealth. My home. Ripped apart and put back together. I thought, I hoped, I could find my family, cheat time, make us whole again. The way we were. Now I know. I know I can't go back. I know the world has changed. That the road ahead will be hard. This time, I'm ready. Because I know war. War never changes.
Holy shit. That was one hell of a bang, wasn't it? So that's it. The Institute is destroyed. It's finally over. You did issue the evacuation order, right? I didn't notice in all the chaos. I did. But there's no way to know how many people got out. I'm sure most everyone got out. Remember, we didn't start this war. I hate that we had to do that. But they left us no choice. It was war. But now, the war against the Institute is over. The way is now clear for the Commonwealth to finally come together and build something good for the future. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows from here on out. The Institute wasn't the Commonwealth's only problem. We've still got plenty to do. I couldn't have said it better myself, General. The Institute was the most insidious threat we've ever faced. They kept the Commonwealth divided for centuries. But there are plenty of other problems left to deal with. I don't think the men and men are going to be out of a job for a long time yet. As much as I might wish it. We... deserve to enjoy our victory, but soon enough, it's going to be time to get back to work. Inside, you got, uh... Well, now we know where they store their ammo. The Institute should have just kept to themselves down in their underground paradise. Hello, sir. Hey there. Is there something you need? No, nothing. All right. We sure showed those Institute bastards, didn't we, General? Let's go get some wondered what you'd look like. Because a robot, not too shabby. I'll never understand why the Institute didn't just leave us alone. Institute's gone. Do you know what this means? That the Commonwealth is finally safe. Exactly. It means no more kidnappings. No more sleepless nights terrified your neighbors plotting against you. No more fear. Thanks to you, we don't have to be afraid anymore. They don't have to be afraid thanks to us. I never could have done this by myself. True. But the Institute was around for a long time before you got here. Not anymore. Welcome to day one of the new Commonwealth. Hey, Piper. Heading my way? Sure. Let's go. Will do. Traveling with Piper is not... Nick. At least now I'll have time to work on my pie to the last digit calculation. Let me know if there's anything I can do to lighten the load. I really like reading. You can learn all sorts of things from books.
Hey, Sean. Dad, I was so worried. I thought I'd never see you again. Is it true? Did you really blow up the Institute? Why would you do that? We had no choice, Sean. It was us or them. That's awful. I thought they were nice. As long as you don't leave me, it'll be okay. You're... you're not gonna leave me, right? Don't worry, kiddo. I'm here for you. Okay. Oh, before I forget, Father, uh, he told me to give this to you. I didn't listen to it, so I don't know what it says. But I think it's important. to believe that you'll honor the request I'm about to make. But I feel compelled to try anyway. This synth, this... boy, he deserves more. He has been reprogrammed to believe he is your son. It is my hope that you will take him with you. I would only ask that you give him a chance. A chance to be part of whatever future awaits the Commonwealth. Sean and I need to tell you how great of a father you are. But we're going to anyway. Isn't that right? You are kind and loving. And <laughs> funny. That's right. And patient. So patient. Patience of a saint, my mom used to say. Look, with Sean and us all being home together, it's been an amazing year. But even so, I know our best days are yet to come. Mm, there'll be changes, sure. Things we need to adjust to. You'll rejoin the civilian workforce, and I'll shake the dust off my law degree. But everything we do, no matter how hard, we do it for our family. Now, say goodbye, Sean. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Come on. <laughs> bye, honey. We love you. Ticker Tom's cooking up something. I hope it goes better than last time. Well, if it isn't the General of the Minutemen, the Destroyer of the Institute, Liberator of the Synths, my only regret is we couldn't have been there when you did it. Did the Synths make it out okay? Yes. And no. We got the Synths out of the Institute, but the news isn't all good. Hate runs deep in the Commonwealth. A hatred, a hatred of sense. When people realized what was happening, we mobilized quickly and rescued most of the synths. But there were casualties. That's terrible. Ever since the beginning, the people of the Commonwealth were as great or greater a threat than the Institute. 
So we still have our work cut out for us. Our safe houses are bursting with sense. If you're up for it, we could... But even if you don't, everyone...